What's up gamers, it's your boy, Little Tommy, coming at you with a different kind of video. Now today, I'm gonna be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but with a twist. I have my grandma here with me. Hello Luke, thanks for inviting me. No problem at all. Now so, what what we're going to be doing uh, in this video, uh, or series if it becomes that, uh, is that I'm going to get my grandma to help me through the entirety of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm only going to be controlling uh, the character, but she's going to be telling me where to go, what to do, um, how to solve the puzzles, so without further ado, let's get it right into it. He's woken up and he's confused. He sees the something that's going to activate him. We just go ahead and... Let's see, ever, ever see an eye? It's the eye of truth now. Yeah, okay. Gotta know that. It's as simple as she cut, bro. Oh my. That's awesome. All right, this is your first time seeing a lot of this stuff too. Yes, it is. That's the one we had a hard time with before. Oh yeah. With the fire, so we got the fire clo clothing. We're gonna talk to that gentleman. All right. Your boy's got himself a new weapon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's, what's that, the mushroom? High lane shroom. Okay. You can, uh, can actually use it to um, uh, cook things. Oh. Where'd the guy go? It was... Oh, he, he's he's down there. Mm. What did he open up? <laughs> when another... Yeah. Oh my goodness. He activated uh, his power. She can power. These do, uh, I'm going to explain it before the NPC does, is that every time we get one of these towers, we open up a part of the map that we can see. Oh, okay. So we get to understand the terrain of the map um, that we are on every time we uh, get one of those. So those are pretty important. Right. Um, and he's already up on there. Okay. Yep. And what's the uh, what's the blue dot circle with the dot? Is that where you can jump off and fly? Is um. Okay. So we don't have a glider yet. Okay. Um. We will have a glider here soon, though. Once we finish this tutorial area, we get a glider so we can get off of the Great Plateau. Okay. So he has a wagon. That beast. is that is Calamity Ganon. So basically, in this game, Ganon is now then, the essence of pure evil. Yes. You must hurry, Link. Think about in Ocarina of Time when he became that giant. Before um, it's too late. When you defeated him, and then he became that giant beast right. with the two swords. Okay. That's it's like a step uh, before that. Before he can turn into that beast, he is just that evil energy. Oh, okay. And now we jump down here. All right, now from from here on, I, I wanted to show you what that uh, was. What do I do now? Uh, I mean, we're gonna we have a puzzle we're gonna have to figure out. I'm sure. Yep. Now, we just got this room. Mm-hmm. It will. When I do this, it highlights. Uh huh. So what should I do? Well, let's see if we can get one. Want me to grab this one? Yes. See if we can. All right. All right. Now you can sit that down. And let's see what's in there. I don't think I can actually climb this. Oh. But I can jump. 
There you go. Let's see. Uh oh. No, here. You need to go ahead and die. Now, keep in mind that water does affect these guys because they are uh, electronic. electronic. So yeah. If they were to fall into the water, then that would be no good. Now. Okay, now pick up that one and take it to in front of you. Uh, that one? Pick up, yeah, that one and put it in front of you. Also, I couldn't help but notice, but there is a chest up there. Right there. Uh -huh. What do you think we should do to bring it down? Oh, what's that? It wow. looks, kind of looks like it's... Let, do your electric to see if we can hook onto it. If it's pink, by the way, then you can hook onto it. Okay, okay. And bam. Got a bow. Mm hmm. Okay, let's investigate this room and talk to this young lady. Doing a little bit of a spin just so I can see if there's anything else. No, she's awakened after a hundred years. Wake up. Oh, neat. Look at that. I'm going to just kind of solve this for you. Some yeah, because we need to blow that wall out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's and that? there's another wall. <laughs> yeah. Right. I can actually choose when I want to detonate it. Oh, okay. So, it, it's not on a timer. It's a remote detonating uh, uh, thing. Yep. What did you do? Get some more bombs? Limited. Okay. In this game, there is no amount of, uh, of bombs that uh, you can have. Like, no limited amount. Whoa, good job. Now, how do you think I'm, I'm supposed to get to that one? I'm sure you're going to throw that bomb under there. Like this? Yeah. Let's see. Poof. Uh-uh. Oh, you're going to have to do this when they cross over. Right? Um, Can't you jump from that to that? Like this? Or you're going to blow your stuff over that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, what do you think I need to do? There's a ladder over there. Put it in that thing right there, and, yeah, and let it roll down in there. Roll on, go on. Roll on to the... Come on! Yeah, there. Good job! And now I can climb up here. And then let me do one last little check. Make sure that there's nothing I missed. Looks like it. I don't think there's anything up there. Alright, here we go. So obviously these first shrines are very easy. It, it just kind of shows you the mechanics of each, each of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to explain them to the best of my abilities. So now... Ah, uh, it's night time. So night time... And the devils come out, all of them. Yeah. Alright. But all something different uh, happens now. Okay. You can, you can hit them once and it'll knock um, uh, their, their body, or their head from their body. Yeah. Then will they go back together? Eventually, yes. Yeah. Oh, I mean. You're like, even that body is trying to pick up the other. So. <laughs> he did! <laughs> Alright. So you have to destroy both heads before okay. you can uh, bomb that. Uh, well, not, not even oh, okay. by this. It's more so you have to destroy both heads before you can uh, continue. Oh uh, yeah. So why why can't we pick up more space for our weapons? Because we don't have um, we don't have any. Let me. Uh, there it is. So. Later in the game, we will be able to um, get something called uh, 
Korok, uh, Korok seeds, I think they are. Um, and these Korok seeds, uh, we can give them to a guy named Petsu. Petsu will, um, uh, will, uh, upgrade our inventory. So, that comes later. Okay. So, should I go for that one, or should I go for the one that is over there somewhere? Ah, there it is. Um, let me see. Let's go straight ahead, right there. Uh, to this one? Blue or red? That's blue, that's red. Let's go red. Okay. So. That looks like a, a volcano. Um. Let me just say you'll see. So now, okay. on how it's, it's lower. Well, now there's a bridge that's gone. What do you? What should I do? All right, check to see if we got any metal hanging around oh, like that. <laughs> and uh huh. Uh uh, don't lose it, don't lose it, grab it, grab it, grab it. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. not metal. However, are we going to get it? Door opens. Go down. Now how am I supposed to get through this? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get some ice from somewhere up a tube. Yep. Where do I put it? Mmm. Okay, help me out. I guess we'll put it in front of those right there. Right here? Those, uh, yeah, those columns. Yeah. There you go. Okay, what do I do here? I need to get up there. Okay. We can accumulate an ice cube from here, too. Right? Yep. Okay. Where should I put it? Uh... Over here, over there, so you can jump on that thing. Like this? Let me see. Put it up there. Right there. Uh oh. Well. Now we just got one more shrine to do. So, how are we supposed to get this, um... Uh, Alright, where is yes. it? Let me see, what's going on? Oh! We can put metal, or whatever it is out there. What, what is it? It's wood. Wood? Can you get wood? Nope. Yeah, okay, you can do an ice to jump to that. Right? Yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm just fighting these guys. Two minutes uh, remaining. 